of the 15th Air Force Headquarters, Riverside, California. Same message coming through simultaneously. You're just going to hear the stronger of two signals, but you're going to hear it. A loud warbling sound goes off to get your attention, then independently of each other, the commander, the deputy commander, copy down the numbers and letters of the incoming message, exchange and check each other's work. If they agree 100%, they've copied the same thing. They go to the EWO safe, remove their individual locks, getting out a deck of authenticator cards and launch keys. That's what's in there. So in about three to four minutes, they've come up with four items. One they have verified, this in fact is an authentic launch order, the President of the United States, the only person legally authorized to issue such an order. Secondly, butterfly valve lock code be entered up there by the sergeant. Third, time of launch. Take a grease pencil right on the face of the launch clock. Five minutes, five hours, sometime tomorrow. Fourth, Commander breaks the seal, inserts her launch key there. Deputy does the same thing with his over here. Now these are spring-loaded to the closed position. They have to be turned within two seconds of each other, then held for five in order to have a launch. And it's significant, one person can't possibly do that. It takes two to tango. So, Commander, I'm going to give you a count of three, two, one, launch. And on launch, with your left hand. <laughs> Push the key in, turn all the way to the right, and hold it till I take the release and sit back, okay? We're ready to launch. Three, two, one, launch. Push and turn. Left. Four, three, two, right. one. Bingo. Very good. Uh -oh. I've done this before, huh? <laughs> you also just started something we can't stop. <laughs> launch enable means we have the proper code in here. Batteries activated. Two drive batteries on board the missile. Now getting electrolyte moving and force fed into them. 28 seconds, they're going to be fully charged, no longer needing power from us. We'll get an APS accessory power supply light and only such. Meanwhile, that big 760 ton door is coming open. As it gets fully open, it's going to break the tipsy. We'll get a tipsy alarm, we'll also get a silo soft light. That's the only way we know that door is open. We're vulnerable to attack. <laughs> guidance globalized also now. The guidance system locked in, no longer taking direction from us to know where it's going, how to get there. Very shortly, we're going to get a fire engine light coming by a loud clash and horn, flashing lights to know that fires have been detected, and as that engine hits 77% of its full thrust, the four explosive nuts on that thrust mount shatter, and we have liftoff. Total actual time, turn key to liftoff, 58 seconds. 30 to 35 minutes later, based on up to 6,300 mile targets, target two no longer exists. Crew, meanwhile, has closed the silo door, tries to communicate with the outside world, find out what the situation is. Now, they had a 30-day supply of food, water, and recirculated air with the sign to last for the 30-day period. And incidentally, the crews did not know, nor do we know today, the geographical location of any of these targets. Nor could they communicate with that missile in right. any way once those keys turned. If we could, possibly they could, the last thing we wanted was that sucker turned around and sent back to us. It might abort itself from an internal problem, but no humans could talk to it after those keys turned. And that pretty well wraps it up in the control room. One thing further, had they launched, they were still down here at the end of the 30-day period, they would have to make a very deliberate decision. Stay down here and suffocate, go upstairs to the dungeon world. Thankfully, they never had to make that decision. Deterrence worked, deterrence kept the peace. Now, Bobby will take us down and see if we still have a missile to show you. Commander, you did good. Uh, how's your credit card in case you accidentally launched that sucker? 